a lot of accusing fingers are on Rwanda and Uganda, that they also are benefiting from the unrest in Congo. If there's one question that I have always asked myself, why are the people in DR Congo always fighting each other? Why have they not realized that working together will be more profitable than fighting each other? Why have they not realized that fighting each other is letting the foreigners or the outsider loot their country? That while they are busy in fighting each other and quarreling among themselves, the Westerners or the outsider are busy stealing all their natural resources. Why can they all not compromise and have a frank and honest talk with each other? After all, they are all brothers and sisters from the same country. What is really or who is behind the conflict in Congo? Who is really behind the conflict in Congo? For the past how many years has this conflict kept on going? And they keep on fighting each other. It's like from generation to generation, they just keep on fighting each other. To no end at sight. So recently there was a peace talk in Kenya that was headed by Uhuru Kenyatta, the former president of Kenya. So, watch this video. Armed groups from Democratic Republic of Congo met in Nairobi for peace talks. Absent was M23, widely understood to be a proxy of neighboring Rwanda. About 300,000 people have fled M23's recent advances in eastern Congo. It refused to withdraw and disarm by a deadline that passed 10 days ago and so was excluded from the talks. Rwanda, whose soldiers have been photographed with M23 fighters, denies backing the group. In Nairobi, former Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta was facilitating the talks. I want to say the problem is foreign groups engaging in Congo and leaving destruction. The same groups need to engage with their governments and leave Congo in peace. It's a problem that's lasted decades, over which Uganda and Rwanda have earned vast profits from Congo's minerals. It's quite a pity that a country like the Congo, that is blessed enormously, that is super rich with all sorts of raw minerals, has been in this quagmire, has been in a situation whereby people fight each other, hasn't gotten any sort of development because major fractions cannot come together to compromise for the good of the country. Why? Are we Africans like this? In most Western countries or even in Asian countries, they will like they will compromise and they will come together and they will say, okay, let's sit down and let's dialogue. Let's discuss a way forward. Let all of us compromise on certain things for the sake of the country and let's unite the country. Because Fighting each other doesn't benefit anybody. But the case of Africa is always different. Everything can be achieved in Western or in, in the East. But when it comes to Africa, it's a lot more difficult. How long has the Congo been going through this crisis? How long? And still yet, there is no end at sight. Every now and then, they will call for a peace talk. 
major fractions will dialogue. And after a couple of years, everything will fall apart. And it's just like a cycle that repeats itself again and again and again and again. And the people are trapped in the middle. The biggest refugee camp in the whole of Africa is in the Congo. Millions of people have been rendered homeless. Millions of people are suffering. Why can these groups not think about the people? How selfish and greedy are these major fractions, including the government? The peace talk was supposed to hold in Kenya, and it didn't even take two days for people to sit and dialogue. It fell apart. They just started talking, and then everything just crumbled. It's really, really heartbreaking to see a country like the Congo descend into chaos and anarchy. It's really sad. I hope Congolese would come together. I hope Congolese would keep their differences aside. I hope Congolese will realize that what unites them is far more greater than what divides them. I hope Congolese will realize that there is strength in unity. And I hope Congolese realize that when they are united, they can move the country forward faster. When they are united, they will win more than what they think they are winning now. And a lot of accusing fingers are on Rwanda and Uganda, that they also are benefiting from the unrest in Congo. It's a very, very complicated situation. So my brothers and sisters in Africa, what do you think about this crisis in Congo? Do you think that people should be hopeful that maybe, just maybe, a solution can be made to this problem? Do you think that the Congolese will someday realize that Unity is more important than fighting each other and they will unite the country as one. Let us know in the comment section below. Because like always, we love hearing what you have to say. Please like this video, share this video, follow our Facebook page, and most importantly, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Little deeds of goodwill like this one helps the channel a lot and we shall forever be grateful to you. So thank you very much for watching this video and like always, see you in the next one. Cut.